All right, you guys, they are doing something here. I'm on my way into BJ's, but they are doing something here. This used to be a Kmart over here, believe it or not, y'all. This used to be a Kmart. I think that maybe they are putting it, they're putting a target there. At least I hope, I hope they're putting a target there so we can see what it's looking like as soon as they open up. Let's go inside of BJ's and see what it's looking like. I still ain't making it to Sam's Club or Costco because they don't open till 10 o'clock in the morning. And I like to be out the house around eight o'clock, okay? That's a little bit too late for me. Let's go in, BJ. All right, oh, so there's someone at the door. It all feels amazing in here because they always got like some type of clothing. Which is great. How oh, was this pant? Oh, these are shorts. All right, so you guys know as soon as you, ooh, I had to turn around, even look at the furniture. So the materials that's needed to make the furniture is also, there's a shortage on that too. So now when you think of clothing and you think of furniture, mattresses, all of that stuff, there will be a low stock. And I believe that furniture stores, their prices on certain items went up too. So they usually have beds and tables and chairs and stuff set over there, but not today, guys. Um, when you usually walk into a bulk store, I always say this when I walk in BJ's, if you look at any of my past BJ's videos, I always start at this section. You will see that in the beginning of the store, they will have things still all the way up to the top, but they don't. It's actually getting lower and lower every time I come to BJ's. Guys, I really need to get to a Sam's Club. Why they don't open at 8 o'clock in the morning? Why? Ah, yes. Um, they still have the freeze pops here. You get 250 freeze pops for $9.99. So it's not bad at all. They have for $41.49, 110 count allergy medication. $11.24. What happens is when you start taking um, medication after the expiration date it lose its effectiveness but you can still take it like if it says two and let's say it's like five years later i'll probably take three instead of just taking two they have the what kind of oil is this extra virgin olive oil for 19.99 and it is three quarts so three is it three quarts let me see i'm saying that wrong okay yeah so it's a three liters guys and then they still have the chips here so the chips have been going up bj's 18.49 for a 50 pack i guess that's not bad after all but it used to be i think 11 dollars and change um but ever since inflation been rising like crazy it did rise up so 18.49 here for 50 bags and those are small bags Yeah, they even have the hemp water 15 pack, 16 ounces for $13.99 up here in the front. Y'all can see everything is practically low. Coconut water keeps you very hydrated, um, especially like when there's a heat wave. Coconut water is something that you definitely want to have on hand. $19.99 for a six pack of one liter. But the date is April 2023. Let's go see what else they have. Wow, so the middle of the store here, I see that they do have some Ziploc bags. It's say, I say, oh, it's 125, but that says 120. It say 495 count. Oh, okay, so it's 495 Ziploc bags in the whole container come because it come with a pack of four, 120, 125, 125, 125. So this is the snack size and the rest is sandwich size bags. A 1549. Now, when it comes down to this side of the store, guys, like where the medical supplies are at, um, looks like they put some soap, some soap here for 769. Get a double pack of the liquid hand soap, not bad, 64 ounces each. But what I want to show you all is last time I came here, y'all, the pads were low. It is even lower now. Oh, they got limits now. Oh my gosh. So yes, if you guys have not stocked up and you're not willing or wanting to get used to using the reusable pads and stuff like that, if 
you have not start seeing limits in your state um it will soon get there so definitely get your stock up now because we're now seeing limits here in new jersey for the pads so yes these are hard for stores to get so definitely and it's still no off brands when it comes to the pads unless it's the protective pads you can still use those as regular pads as well well here is the lemons guys so for the feminine hygiene products that i was telling everyone to stock up on about six months ago there is now lemons the prices are rising and you can't be so picky so ladies try to get used to you if you know that you won't you know you got a while before your menstrual end try to get used to using those feminine um hygiene products such as the reusable ones the reusable pads maybe even menstrual cups and stuff like that try to think of other alternatives when it comes down to tampons and pads and stuff because yes it's getting low let me see what can i get now for the bright fix drinks and the oatmeal this is something that you definitely want to consider um stockpiling because it's something that can hold you at least for the breakfast drinks and oatmeal definitely sticks to you so definitely consider getting that in your stockpile for the wesley farm swiss granola it's only 6.99 for 32 ounces and that's not bad as long as you package these correctly store it in a dark dry cool place you're you'll be good to go um but as you can see they have the pallets up there but there is gaps even with the palace this stuff usually be stacked 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 all the way up y'all pancake mix bisquick um you can use this as a thickener as well believe it or not let's see the date august 2023 so the best buy date goes out only as far as a year but we all know this stuff is the stuff that's been sitting on the cargo ships for the longest now when it comes down to you guys wanting to stock up on flour sugar and things like that it's better to come and get it in bulk like one of these stores bj's costco sam's club wherever you shop at um because what happens is it turns out to be cheaper because for 9.29 you can get 12 pounds of flour which is not bad you can decide to keep some for your moving pantry and put some in your stockpile it's totally up to you store these in some mylar bags or some jars and you'll be good to go indefinitely so that's not bad 9.29 for 12 pounds of flour they have almond flour as well 10.99 for only two pounds though um if you're looking for more of the brands the name brands so for the gold medal for 12 pounds is 6.99 and baking soda baking soda can be used for a multiple amount of things so make sure you have some of that in your stockpile as well it's only 7.79 for 13.5 pounds but as you guys can see, the pouts up top is definitely low as well. Come on. Then we're going to go ahead and look at the sugar. I don't see no big bags of sugar, though. Let's come this way. I only see, are these the 10-pound bags? Yeah, they only got the 10-pound bags of sugar. For $6.79, you can get the Wesley Farms 10-pound bag of sugar. Um, it's actually cheaper in Walmart to get 10 pounds of sugar. So coming in here for sugar actually is not really cost effective. You can get it cheaper for 10 pounds in Walmart. And I believe I'm going to double check that. I'll put the edit here on the screen for the flower to see if it's more cost effective to get two 10 pound bags of flour at Walmart rather than paying $9.29 for the 12 pound bag that's what we're gonna check out but here's the stock on the honey i take my time out and show you show you guys certain amounts of things in stores as we do walk through i try to take my time and show you guys the prices and exactly what i'm looking at um if i miss anything there's always pictures at the end The 3.5 pound of Tyson crispy chicken strips is $15.49. Most of this stuff don't even have clips anymore. That's the thing. So when you shopping, 
and you scanning and you see the clip don't pop up most of the times it's not a mistake because you're gonna have to just pay the price <laughs> you know for things that you want four pounds of purdue popcorn chicken is 15.99 they have some beyond burger for 16.99 the beyond meat 10 count for 16.99 all right you guys so as you guys can see for the tyson raw wing so it did drop down remember we were at 20 something dollars in the low 20s and then we went up to 29 so we're back at 29 then we went up to 30 then we went up to 33 guys it dropped back down to 29.99 um for it to be the burger chicken shortage and things like that they do have a bunch of it today last time we came to bj's yeah it was looking pretty they actually didn't have the tyson and i assumed that they didn't carry it anymore because they didn't have any at all they had another one of the um smaller chain store brands here for like 16 dollars for like a 2.5 pound bag so they definitely have it back i think i'm gonna go ahead and grab me a bag because it is 30 dollars for 10 pounds which is not bad so they have it back y'all let me know if your bulk store is carrying the 10 pound bag of chicken wings now when it comes down to the milk they got almond breeze 96 ounces for three dollars and 89 cents they have the lactate 96 ounces for five dollars and 49 cents and then just for the regular milk here it's three dollars and 92 cents for a gallon of one percent 421 for a gallon of two percent and 457 for a gallon of whole milk so they definitely have it let's check on the eggs for the 218 count 36 eggs is ten dollars and 79 cent here in bj's and for the five dozen it's 15.99 um in walmart the eggs did just go up to like 13.99 so and that's for the um the 60 pack eggs in walmart the meat section always seems to disappoint me in bj's so let's see what is it's always the smells for me it's always i don't care how fresh it looks the smell always get me it just stopped me while i'm talking like the smell always get me. Um, it look kind of brown though. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know. I don't know. But they do still have a limit here for the purchase of chicken at least. A limit of two packs of the WF Purdue brand for the fresh chicken wings per member. Like I said, I don't know. Um, I'm not really interested, so I'm gonna keep walking. Just what some of the freezer sections are looking like. This ground beef looks like it has, um, what do you call it, frostbite? Oh, it's no packaging in there. Oh, but it is still the, it just look like that. Okay, let's put that back. This is another empty freezer here. For shrimp, it looks like. All right, so I finally made it to the other side of the store. We're just gonna look at the price of a few things over here. Um, oh wow, this tie is simply clean. It's fourteen forty-nine, but it's a larger one than what you would get at Walmart. So, is that a good deal to you? Let me know they have Tide coming in at $23.99 for the 165 ounce. $18.99. I think that's not bad for gain. $18.99 is 146 loads. I don't think that that's bad at all. Um, Xavier. Come on, boy. Seem like they have a low stock of the Purex. I always use Purex now though because it's more cost effective. All right, so the price of the tissue did go up to $29.99. Last time I was here, it was about $24 and change. $24, $25 and change. So that did go up. So now 
for a 32 pack of charming toilet paper you'll be spending 30 bucks I always love coming here because they always have like my king sheets on sale they always have king sheets on sale well a multiple amount of sheets but I'm always looking for the king size because I have a king size but I noticed today they don't have not one thing of king size sheets available but they do have twin and full and they have queen but no king but even for the sheets the section got oh they do got one king literally that's it but i usually pay like 30 dollars, so i'm good um yeah so the section got very very low for the um sheets alone this is all they have right now that's it that's it so 10 items just cost me a hundred and twenty two dollars and thirty one cents guys so i got that for the stockpile i got that for the stockpile i got some chicken in there so i can go ahead and put that in my deep freezer and then i got some sheets over there some hash browns another throw i love buying throws and sheets it's like an obsession um have some moss applesauce we have some muffins in there the purdue popcorn chicken and some little dinner thing I know. So yes, that's what. Uh huh. A hundred and twenty-two dollars and thirty-one cents will get you up in BJ's. I'm not shopping no more this week, y'all. I think I'm about done.